Tip number one, take a dollar, or in this case a 20, and fold it right in half, and I want you to take that shirt, and I want you to put that dollar at the edge point of the collar. Now, you're going to notice there's some stitching there. What you want to do is count the number of stitches from that end. Now, this length here is an inch and a quarter. If you don't count at least 10 stitches, this could be the sign of a poor quality shirt, and you're probably going to want to look elsewhere. In today's video, I'm giving you 10 quick tips to be able to identify quality clothing and how to stay away from the bad stuff. So the next trick to quickly identify high quality clothing, look at the buttons. So with jackets, you want to look for horn. For shirts, you want to look for mother of pearl. Now, just because they're using plastic buttons does not mean that it's bad quality. But if they're using horn, if they're using mother of pearl, these are much more expensive materials. So if they're spending the money there, you know that on other parts of the garment that they've spent the time, they've spent the effort, they've created a quality garment. Now, how to spot mother of pearl? So you want to take the shirt and you want to look underneath the button. What are you looking for here? On the top, it should be very clear, very clean, but underneath, we're going to see these colors, these imperfections. Why? Because these buttons are stamped out of shells. So as we're talking about buttons, let's talk about the stitching and the shank. So when you look at the button, it should be sewn on tightly. There shouldn't be loose threads and it should have what's known as a shank. This is basically where the button is sewn onto the shirt in a way that it's raised off the shirt to make it easier to button. And now let's go to the bottom of the shirt. We're going to look where the front connects to the back and down here, we're going to be looking for a gusset. So a gusset is an extra piece of fabric sewn into a stress point on a shirt. The idea here is that they're spending time and money to actually go in and reinforce your shirt. A lot of manufacturers skip this. This is a great sign of quality. And let's not forget the gauntlet button. It's going to be right below the cuff on the sleeve. It's going to be a little bit smaller than the buttons that we see on the cuff. Now, the historical purpose of the gauntlet button was to help hide excess fabric as basically you had the larger sleeve head going into the cuff. But functionally, I think it really helps whenever you got to roll your sleeves. So you always want to make sure you find a shirt with a gauntlet button. And don't forget, check in your collar. You want to make sure that you've got collar bones. These should go in and out, made from metal, made from plastic, doesn't matter as long as you've got that slot there to be able to make sure that you've got a nice pointed collar. So now let's talk about the materials most quality clothing is made from. The trick here is to look for 100% cotton or to look for wool when it comes to high-end trousers, when it comes to jackets. This isn't going to guarantee it's high quality, but it's a great start. Now, why is wool a great thing to look for? Because it's a luxury material that's very expensive. So manufacturers are going to be careful when they're using it. Now, when you start to see a wool blend, you want to be careful. There are some great jackets out there that are wool blends, but you need to be careful. You need to start looking at other details. Now, when it comes to shirts, 100% cotton is a great start, but it is not something that you, can 100, you can't depend on it. Why? Because I do think that actually blends that bring in the right material are a great thing. In addition, there's different quality levels of cotton. So it is something that it's a great start, but you want to look at other factors. Now, what about linen, silk, bamboo? I think those are all great materials. They're good things to look for. And when you see it, they're pretty rare. Now, you want to make sure that you can take care of it, especially when it comes to silk. But what about acetates? These are things you want to be careful of. Acetates are made from petroleum. So they're not going to have much breathability. Occasionally, when mixed in with other materials, they can prove useful. But I would be very careful with acetates. Another quick trick to quickly identify quality is to look at the pattern and notice, was it sewn in or was it printed on the material? So this right here, I can look at the details on the fabric. I can see this was actually sewn in. Now this one right here, it was printed. This doesn't mean it's bad quality, but this right here is definitely a sign of good quality. Another quick sign of quality, look for a split yoke. You want to turn the shirt around and you want to look at the back. Not all shirts are going to have this and if it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's bad quality, but if they got a split yoke where basically it has been cut in half and has been sewn together separate, this is a sign of good quality. It goes back to old school tailoring where they actually used to measure each of the shoulders, each of the lengths here, and they would actually make the shirt slightly different for each side. The next trick to quickly identify good quality on a shirt, look for pattern matching. Notice the pattern here. Well, the pattern on this sleeve should match up with the pattern right here in the shoulders. And I can see that it does. Why is this a sign of quality? Because they had to spend more money 
on the actual materials. So it works like this. A shirt is made up of various parts and this forms the pattern. The pattern is laid out on basically fabric. Now that fabric, they can lay out those parts in a way that they can get the most out of that fabric or they can lay it out in a way in which everything is going to line up and it's going to look best. Now one of them is optimizing for money. The other one is optimizing for the artistic quality. You ideally want to be able to find a company that focuses in on that artistic quality on the details. They're okay with spending a little bit more to deliver to you a great looking shirt. Now when it comes to jackets, you want the outside to look great. But more importantly, look on the inside of the jacket. You want to look at the details on the stitching, everything that goes into it here. They should have paid as much attention to the stitching, to the basically the finish on the inside as they did the outside. Gents, if they paid attention to the details here, you can rest assured that on the inside of the jacket, the parts you can't see where there's possibly a floating canvas or maybe they used a little bit of glue strategically that they did a good job on that internal construction. So when it comes to sports jackets, blazer jackets, suit jackets, it's all about the details. Guys, you want to look, did they pay attention to working surgeon cuffs right here? This historically, basically, you should be able to unbutton this so you could roll up your sleeves, perform surgery on the battlefield. But nowadays, what this signals to me is that they're only making this jacket in enough sizes. They know they're not going to be able to make it for everybody because when they make these basically functional, you can only adjust the length of the jacket so much, about three quarters to maybe one inch versus if the buttons were right here sewn on top, you could go about two inches either way. Now, I also like to make sure that my pockets are functional. I like to use a pocket square, but it's okay if they've got this sewn initially. You should be able to open up and put in a pocket square. Now, right here, we've got patch pockets on other jackets. You're going to see flat pockets, but those should also be able to be open and used. Now, when it comes right here to the boot near hole, this should be able to be opened. Sometimes they're not going to have this opened up and on the back here, you should have a latch so that you could put a flower in there and it would hold it. So now let's talk about trousers, very similar to jackets. You want to look on the inside. You want to look at the finish. Did they pay attention to the inside? Did they stitch everything appropriately? You don't have loose threads all over the place. And I like to look at the back of the trousers. Did they give me excess material so that I could open up the trousers later? Here's the thing. This costs money to put this excess material in there, knowing that most guys will never use it. But let's say you get a little bit bigger over Christmas time. This is a godsend because all of a sudden you're going to be able to open up these trousers and continue Continue to use them. So for shoes, the quick trick here is to look at the sole. Is it a leather sole? Right there, that's a great sign of quality. Then look for stitching. Right here, I see stitching. So this tells me it's either a Goodyear welt or it's a Blake stitch. Next, I want to look for tacks. These are small nails that they're going to use in the heel. The heel is made up of layers and layers of leather, and they're going to hold it together with basically these tacks and a little bit of glue. Now, another quick sign of quality on the inside of the shoe is going to be an additional layer of leather. This there is for protection. This should not be the same leather that's on the upper on the outside. They should have another layer of a different color oftentimes that it basically in there to protect the shoe whenever your feet are sweating. Now, what you can't see on the inside of the shoe is going to be a shank, a steel shank or a shank made from a different material. Sometimes even plastic is a good sign of quality. Now, let's talk about luggage, briefcases, bags. The easiest thing to spot here, the number one thing for me I look at is going to be the hardware. That's the zipper. That's the metal pieces used. If they skipped here, you can bet that they went shoddy when it comes to the leather. So go ahead and use that zipper. Does it flow? Does it get caught? Is it something that seems small or is it made like overbuilt, oversized? You want to make sure that they spent the money and the time to get good quality hardware. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, Antonio, how do I spot high quality leather? When I'm looking to buy that expensive bag, those expensive shoes, I don't want to make a mistake here. Well, guys, I got you covered with this video right here. How to spot high quality leather. I go into the details, exactly what you want to look for when you're looking at all the different leather types, all the options out there. And if that's not enough, you got this other video right down here, how to spot high quality shoes. I touch, I just touched on it in today's video. I go into a lot more detail. I talk about Goodyear welt. I talk about Blake stitching and how you can spot the difference.